All right, next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. Let's go. Oh, do not do not switch skins. There's a bug in Smite where it switches skins once you lock in with the god. It's been in the game since the new UI. Still hasn't been fixed. Uh, you know, maybe eventually they'll fix it, but who's to say? We are against Fenrir, five-star Fenrir. All right, let's go. Mage's Blessing Bancrofts. So there will be double upload today, and that's just because... That is because there was no upload yesterday, so I gotta get these done fast. Yeah, when I render a video, it takes about twice as long as the recording is. So if it's a 15 minute game, it's 30 minutes to render it. And then to upload it, that takes about four times as long as however long the video is. So then that takes about uh, an hour, an hour to two. It just depends. So for uh, if the game's like 30 minutes, it takes forever. So sometimes I'm not able to upload that exact day. That's okay. Oh. Stun him out of his three. He still did more damage to me than I did to him, though. He went... Oh, he went a lot of early sustain. How am I supposed to out-sustain him? I can't. Oh, I was hoping to hit him with that. I believe if I get my silence, and I silence him where he lands, it won't stun me. Is that right? I know that that happens with Odin, where it won't do any damage... I'm not so sure about Fenrir. I'll have to try it out. Because that could be like a big counter if it works. We're not going to be able to out-sustain him just because of uh, the build he's going. This guy's got five stars, you know? He knows what he's doing. He has way more potions left than me. I think I might have to give up a red and just go straight for blue buff. Uh, that might not be a good idea. Nope, it doesn't work. It does not work. Does not work confirmed. Yeah, so if I use my two, it won't stun him out. Or won't uh, keep him from dealing damage to me. Which is unfortunate. Might be able to kill him? No, oh, yes, shall. I got my ultimate. Oh my god, yes! So he was out sustaining, but then I just kind of burst him down. Actually, we are going to take this. We're going to use our ultimate to take this. Sounds dumb, but you know. Come on, get on it. Ganesh ultimate does reduce damage to creeps. So it takes a while, but still good for taking buffs. Because Fender has two ways to get on my ultimate. Or three ways if you count his ult. So I'm not going to be getting the, the combo that often. For those that don't know, the Ganesh combo is you ult and then use your three to stun them like right on top of it. So they just take a ton of damage. It's really hard to hit. And if the god has an escape, they can use it way before your ultimate animation is over. So we have the lead right now. That's really good. We just kind of bursted him down. You know, his abilities were down. He had his brood lies up, but that's not enough distance. Okay, I'm not going to waste my beads on this, otherwise he'll kill me next time. Ah, oh, he's going to leap on me. Yeah. Hello, hello? Uh, uh, please, two seconds. Oh, I stunned him, but it wasn't enough. I stunned him, but he killed me right at the same time. Dang, I've never seen that before. I was juking behind the minions, but I knew his abilities were coming up. I had to go. Maybe I should have stayed behind the minions a tiny bit longer. But, you know, I can only stay behind this for so long. I'm still ahead in gold, just not XP. Our combo is up. I will try it if his leap is down, I think. I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't use my beads because... If I use my beads when I'm not even near his tower, then next chance he gets, he knows my beads are down. and He's going to get me in a better position for him. He's able to kill me out of the way, but, you know. I got him! Got him! Yes! Oh, that is so hard to hit. 
Okay, this game's promising. This game is looking promising. Alright, come on. Take the tower. Ganesh is one of the worst guardians. So, the fact that we have two kills is pretty hype. Alright, time to go. He's coming back. He has, he's got a lot of mobility. We need cooldown on Ganesh. Ganesh cooldowns are super high. That's one reason we died last time. His warrior's blessing isn't stacked yet, but he's getting some defense. My ultimate shreds protections, which is good. So if I hit my combo right, you can't do too much. Red buff is coming up soon-ish, but he doesn't have the timer for it, I don't think. leaps about to come up because it gets reduced cooldowns if he hits me with it I should be fine I don't think he'll dive my tower right now he's not gonna jump on me he's gotta be baiting me but I kind of have to go for it yes so he went through my ultimate like a couple times there actually and because of my bees i was able to trap him inside of it uh how many times did my ult hit him only once my ult only hit him once but still that was just enough damage that's all i needed to shredded his protections plus i got red buff i was i was going to ult on top of me and red buff so basically no matter what he did i would either get red buff or a kill if he managed to dodge every single instance of my ultimate then he might have been able to kill me I still would have gotten red though. Okay, that's good. That's good. Time to back. Let's start working on breastplate. Actually, we can get 2 2 breastplate. I'm very happy with this Ganesh game. Uh, Polynomicon is going to be a must for objective push. I'm not sure how early I will get it though. I'm also going to get Spear of the Mages. One thing you can do on Ganesh, you can't. You can get Gem of Iso. Use your one first to slow them, just to confirm your combo. But it's it's not that great. And Gem of Iso got nerfed. So I don't think I'll do it this game. I would do that against gods that don't have escapes. Okay, our beats are down. We should not be so pushed up. Because his ultimate is up now. Being like this far is fine, because you can't take us into tower. Oh, I missed. That's bad. Luckily, I have a lot of ways to cancel that. Okay, he ulted. It's fine. Once my three comes up, I'll ult him. Dang. Couldn't get him in it. That's fine. Fighting with my Bancroft's passive here could be very good. The only thing is that he's healing a ton. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Don't get hit by his leap. Do not get hit by his leap. Oh. What did I say about not getting hit by his leap? Oh, I almost killed him before he killed me. But the Xiao. The Xiao. That's okay. We now have Breastplate of Valor, so we have thirty we have forty percent cooldown. His Mage's Blessing evolved as well. This is good. Now, what relic do I want against Fenrir? I could get Horrific. I could get Blink to chase him. I could get Thorns. Or I could get Bracer. Let's go with Bracer. Even though he might get anti-heal, upgraded Bracer. Let's say all my cooldowns are down. I can pop upgraded Bracer and hit him with another round of abilities. And that's that's honestly worth it. Because most of the time, I was, as Ganesh, I die with like two seconds left on my cooldowns. We are going to need some anti-heal, though. Looks like he's getting Toxic Blade. And we have no pen yet. Yeah, he's healing quite a bit. He's healing just enough for it to be worrisome.
Got him. Got him. Yes, carry me with you. <gasps> oh no. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was a little bit scary when I missed my dash. I still had my bracer up, so I knew I'd be okay, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna get the kill or not. Okay, let's take a red buff. Can't really do that much tower damage yet. Okay, we are five and two. We cannot throw this game. We cannot throw this game. I cannot throw this. He has 20 power right now, so I'm a little bit scary once he builds more power. A little bit of an awkward build. I've never seen Ninja Tabby on Fenrir. If you go tanky on Fenrir, usually you want Warrior Tabby to make up for your power loss. Okay, he did get that anti-heal. That's fine. Uh, I was hoping my brace would be a little bit more useful for a little bit longer. But, like I said, we're, it's about upgrading it. I think that'll give the most turnaround potential out of anything. Shield of Thorns is a good, another good option. Just because it would stop Fenrir's life still. Oh, he hit me. Oh, no. He's starting to get out of it. Oh, don't get me. Oh, he went through my ultimate so many times. Oh, you went through my ultimate a lot, man. Come on. Don't leap. Don't leap. Oh, so close. If I went for a more direct path to him. Oh, he's still here. Oh my god! He came back and I had my Bancroft's passive ready. Alright, what the hell is this game? Oh my god, this is the best Kadesh game. I still don't have tower, but I am very happy with this game. If I took a more direct path to him ex uh, the first time, instead of hesitating, probably my one would have killed him. But then, as I was running away, I came so low that I was I was within the threshold for him to kill me. And he could have. I was just barely able to turn it around. I was using my two to buy me some time on his cooldowns. That's really good. Okay. All right. All right. Is he going into Executioner, I think? That's fine. I want Divine Rune and then Polynomicon. Oh, he hit me. That's fine. Oh, I didn't get him. He knows not to go into my ultimate now. He knows not to go into it, which means when my beats are down, I'm still somewhat safe. Oh, if he brutalizes me, I can't cancel it. I can't cancel his brutalize right now. Now I can. All right. What is your build? It is scaring me. It's terrifying. Apply Spear of Magus, then use my one. He's life slowing way too much. Oh, he's not going to dive me? Okay. I mean, I think he should have dived me. He had way more health than me. Okay. We need that anti heal. Plus more pen. Because he has a lot of protections. How much does my ult shred? Shreds 55 pr protections? Does it stack though? I don't remember if it stacks. Dang. That sucks. I'm pretty much using my ult whenever it's ready just because the amount of times you, we're going to miss it, we're going to hit it more the more we're using our ult. No use keeping it off, keeping it off cooldown if I'm just going to, you know, miss it at crucial moments. Like, I, what I'm saying is I might as well risk it every time because it's a low cooldown ult and it's very hard to hit. 
So if I have a decent opportunity to hit it, I might as well use it. Because it'll be back by the time the next fight's ready. Like, it's already on 10 second cooldown. Plus then, he might not expect it being ready. Alright. It's ready again. Maybe we can get him. Hopefully he doesn't get hastened. Did I get him in it? I think I did. I think I did. Now oh, he's just gonna run. Alright. Well, I can't really do anything. This is a, gonna be a problem. Alt for alt, I guess, is fine. Because his ult's on a longer cooldown. But it's like, I really need a kill. Once we get Polynomicon last time, we can go for Bull Demon as well. I can go for Bull Demon with my ult, but since it only does like 40% damage to like jungle bosses and stuff, it's just not enough damage to take it. Like it, it'll, it'll bring it down quite a bit of health, but uh, the rest of the damage I can't do fast enough before Fenric might be able to steal it. Oh, he jumped over it? Okay. He wants me to use his ult. I'm my ult. I'm not going to in that situation. Alright, Fenrir, we need to fight. Ah, bad ult. Very bad ult. That's fine. He'll be up soon. If he ults me, I have beads. Yep, that's fine. Bad engagement. I lost my beads for pretty much free. Alright, let's upgrade our bracer. Get some more wards. Maybe I should just try to go for pulling and scare it with my one. Maybe. Or don't use my ult until it's kind of low. That's what I could do. I could start taking Bull Demon, and then once it's like at half health, I use my ult, and then try and burst it down. Oh, please don't tell me. Please tell me he did not get red buff. Oh, no, he got it. That's bad. Very bad. Alright, you are something. Yeah, he's just kind of like ignoring me. I don't like it. Let's see. I really don't think I can do that much damage, though, as a thing. Without Polynomicon. And it's going to take me down to pretty low health. Alright, I'm going for it. I'm trying. I'm going to try and scare it. Nope. This is a bad idea. Okay, I, I use my upgrade bracer for cooldowns. Now, if I live, no, there's no way I'm living. All right, let's try and dive as far away from wave as possible. Okay, so we've died far away from wave, so we're gonna waste a lot of his time. He's actually has to recall. I took bull demon off of my alt, and that was a problem. I wanted to get it farther away from Fenrir. Okay, I still can't afford... It's, it's better to keep Mage's Blessing if I can't afford the full Polynomicon. Might as well upgrade my beads then also. You got Frostbound? Okay. I would prefer him having Frostbound over Haze and Katana. So that's fine. I might... What I'm, if I get Speed Potion, I'm going to sell it for Soul Reaver. Because how much health does he have? Yeah, he has a lot of health. So that would be a good item. Looks like he's still my buff. That's fine. We need to protect these minions if we want a chance of taking Phoenix. Oh, he got thorns? Uh, I will still eat through your thorns, my friend. I should have. I can't fight him without Polly. Oh, I still can't afford it. No, Fenrir. All right. 
I still eat through his thorns. Like, oh, it did a lot of damage to me, though. Uh, that's bad. That's pretty bad. There's not much I can do against that, though. He might actually come back and win. Which would really suck because I was doing so good this game. Alright. I guess I'll have to play defensively. I don't I have another choice. Just until I get enough money for Polynomicon. Take, take our buff? Is, no, it's still down. Because you took it last time. Just need to get Polynomicon. Thorns is pretty scary, but I still feel like if I combo him, he dies. Now, a thing you can do on Ganesh is you can get Ring this mask, and it works okay. I don't think this is a situation where I want to get that, though. That's in a situation where you're against a god that you can guarantee the combo against. Any god without mobility. And you just pop Horrific and then all three of them. Like, they're guaranteed that, guaranteed that uh, dead. And you just don't engage them unless you have that up. But I don't think I can do that against Fenrir since he's so tanky and still does a lot of damage. I can't, like, insta-kill him. My beads are still down. I'm going to back up. Oh, no. This might be it. This might be it, guys. Oh, ho, ho, so close! So close. How much is he doing with his autos? Do you get chin size? I don't even have that much health. I might get Nemean. Last item. Might get Nemean. Either way, if, with, if I had Power Bush, I would have killed him. I was saying I'm going to back up because I knew I didn't have my beads up. And as I said that, he came out of the jungle. That really sucks. I shouldn't have pushed up so far. It's just force of habit. <laughs> I don't like playing far back. I hate playing far back. And that, that was... Okay, he did use his thorns. I was going to say that was without his thorns, but he did use it. So if we fight him... This next engagement, we should win. And that's all we need to win. We have Polynomicon. If we, win this if we take this next engagement and we win it, we can win the game. Very important. He doesn't take another red buff, though. Next one that spawns. I don't think he wants to fight us. Oh, he got Speed Potion, but he can't sell boots yet. So he's quite a bit of gold ahead of us. Are you really backing that far up, man? That's annoying. No! I missed! Come on, Polyshot, maybe? No, he's life still up! I missed it! That combo is so hard to hit, you guys. No! That's gonna cost me the game. Or at least my Phoenix. That combo is so incredibly hard to hit. I was getting lucky with the early game, but now... My Polyshots are doing work too, but it can only do so much. I can either sell boots for a higher damaging item, or I can sell it for Nemean. At this rate, I'm thinking I have to sell it for Nemean. Also, I wasn't going to embrace her there. I was pretty much a dead man no matter what. My escape, I just used, and, you know, I don't even know if my bracer was up, but either way, that would not have saved me. I needed that kill so bad. This frostbound. And now his thorns can be up for next fight, and my bees are down again. Did you get red buff again? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't have any option except to literally sit in Phoenix right now. Until he's gonna take Bull Demon, and we just have to defend Phoenix. Cause if I take, cause if I lose this next fight, I lose the game. 
Nice thing about Ganesh, though, is if he's attacking Phoenix, I can place my ult like this, kind of like as a shield. And I can actually combo him off of that. Alright, this Frostbound's annoying. I'm dead. Literally game. <laughs> no, dang it, man. Alright, I tried, you guys. That's game number one with Ganesh. Uh, Ganesh is so bad. He went frostbound into Atlanta's. What a guy. I feel like I played the game better, but that's Guardian Duels for you. I still think it was a good game nonetheless, just because I had some really good plays. Uh, that feels bad, man. To just die instantly like that at the end. Like, I, I couldn't do anything. GG. Alright, I'm gonna record the next game real quick. Uh, you guys, it should be up today because I'm doing a double upload. So have a good day, everybody.